My dear friends, my name is Father Carl Pepping. I've been asked by Father Campbell to give you a talk today on courage and perseverance in the Christian life. I'm going to start by just relating a story about a man called David Goggins. He was a Navy SEAL and he had entered a, an ultramarathon and he had to run 100 miles, which is about 160 kilometers, in 24 hours or less. He had not prepared himself for this. And so at the 70 mile mark, at the 70 mile mark, which meant he still had another 30 miles to go, his body started to break down. His kidneys began to fail. He had broken all the small bones in both of his feet and he had dual stress fractures in his lower legs. He still needed another 30 miles to go in this condition. Do you know what he did? He ran the remaining 30 miles without stopping. That is impressive. And I start with this example because he does give us, I think, a natural example of courage and perseverance. He faced his fears and he kept going in spite of pain and fatigue until he attained his goal which was the 100 miles mark. So let's have a look at these two virtues, courage and perseverance. What is courage? Courage is the overcoming of our fears to do the good we must do. A ready example we can look at would be that of the martyrs. The martyrs had to practice courage because they had to overcome their fear of death in order to remain loyal and faithful to Christ. We can also perhaps look at some an example of courage in, in our lives, which we may have to occasionally practice, which is that in spite of our fear of what others may think, we still say no to something which is wrong. What is perseverance? Let's have a look at perseverance. So perseverance is the continuing in the accomplishment of some good over a long period of time in spite of the difficulties without and the weariness which we experience within ourselves until we reach the end. So that's perseverance. Now these two virtues we're looking at in the Christian life and where do we find the motivation? to arouse ourselves, to persevere, and to face our fears. We find that motivation in our faith. And there's three main things I'm going to mention, three main things which give us that, that motivation. For, and if we look at Our Lady, we could clearly see this in her. The first is the love of God or that desire to see God glorified. That for the saints and for Our Lady, really pushed them along. They, they never wanted to give up because they were seeking God's glory. They were seeking to show their love for Him. So at every moment, they wanted to maintain themselves in the accomplishment of good. Another motivation, source of motivation, is eternal happiness. When we remember that the reward, the prize, is given to those who finish the race. And the prize that we're given for our perseverance until death in, in virtue and serving God is eternal happiness. It's that reward of being with God for all eternity. And that will never be taken away. There'll be no more suffering, no pain in heaven. That's the reward God promises us. And lastly, the motivation to persevere and have that courage in doing good also comes from the desire to save souls. When we do good united to Christ, we merit graces for ourselves and for others through that union with Christ. And now that too is a very powerful motive for our perseverance and courage. So those are the things from our faith which principally give us the motivation and courage to, to be courageous and to persevere in doing good for God. At the same time, we need to remember 
that good is doing good is going to be arduous and it's not just a question of relying on our own strength in fact i think if we had to rely on our own strength then we would be giving up very quickly because we know our limitations but we also know we're not left on our own we have god's strength we have god's grace which can sustain us in anything and god will if he permits a difficulty to happen in our lives he will give us that strength to cope to keep going and so through our faith we know that we can persevere we know that we can overcome the difficulties and problems in front of us because we're leaning on the almighty strength of god and if god is behind us if god is with us who can be against us we can always do the good we need to do because god will give us his grace his help so my dear friends men and women like david goggins they give us impressive examples of courage and perseverance from a natural point of view but we want to persevere and we want to courageously do good for different reasons those reasons are god's glory and eternal happiness the sh the saints show us this is both beautiful and possible because with god sustaining us we can face any trial he permits to come our way. May God bless you.